What's up, y'all? Um, <laughs> so I'm sitting here thinking about uh, Jay Z and this um, decision to work with the NFL, and and I'm thinking about it in relationship to um, the docu series The Family on Netflix, right? And for those who don't know, um, the series on Netflix is about uh, this um, Christian fundamentalist um, network uh, that basically makes the decisions for, um, you know, or protects the highest echelons of um, government officials around the world. Um, so basically it's, you know, it's basically a bunch of people really working hard to make Gilead come into being in the U S but one of the things, um, their founder or one of their major leaders, he wasn't the founder, but he sort of took over after the first dude, um, died, uh, Doug Co. um, was like, you know, um, what makes our organization powerful is our silence is the fact that don't I know who I am? Don't, I don't know who we are. You know, we're secretive and we're silent and we're private. Um, and that privacy allows them to do whatever it is that they want to do. So put a pin in that. So we got Jay-Z, right, who is out here pinning deals with the NFL. What I find fascinating, so two things. One, I think Jay-Z's um, belief that capitalism is the liberatory pathway for black folks is Stupid. It's dumb. It's a dumb idea. Um, you can't beat the system that created your enslavement in that way by using it. Like it's not, it's, you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to put on, you know, I'm, I'm going to put on the trappings of capitalism. And then eventually this game that was created and used me to um, reach its, you know, its pinnacle of wealth and power I'm somehow going to bring all uh, black people into that. It's not possible. And what I think, you know, like Donald Trump is a great example of, you know, um, white supremacist capitalist patriarchy would sooner burn all this shit down than to watch niggas win. And Jay-Z is, is just not seeing that. But... What I also think is, I'm like, is Jay-Z playing a long game that we don't know? Yeah, sometimes, you know, like, I mean, the, this infantismal piece of me, who's like, maybe he is. But I'm going to tell you why his long game won't work. And his long game won't work because Jay-Z doesn't know how to be like Doug Coke. <laughs> he don't know how to be like the family. Homie, what would have been smart for him to do whatever deal he was going to do with the NFL, if there was an intention behind it to do something transformative, right? We don't need to see your face on it. You, the idea that he thought his face was going to legitimize the NFL is a function of massive hip hop ego, right? Like that's like, that's only the ego of an MC that would be like, I'm going to take this racist, um, Institute this racist, misogynist institution that has harmed the bodies of black people for centuries while also back, you know, like also um, blacklisting and uh, um, exiling anybody who speaks to justice on our head. Like the NFL still has a team called the Redskins. That's really, you know, I, mean, I stop where I get there. Like it's come on, y'all. So the fact that he thought that his face was going to do enough to be like, oh, yeah, the NFL must be really progressive right now is foolishness. It's a fool's errand. But had he opted to move in silence and, and then in a year or two, we just saw um, the NFL change the name of the Redskins, you know, begin to um, address the um, uh Cranol, the can, cranial, whatever that thing is, is happening to baseball. I mean, football players. I you see, I don't fuck with sports. With football players, it causes their brains to turn to mush. Um, that they started doing something around that. That that, and then you know, all of a sudden, NFL started pouring money into institutional change and abolition of prisons. And then in a year and a half, Jay Z was like, "I did that." And the reason the dead press, uh, you know, like it would. You know, everybody started singing, you know, I don't know, freedom songs on the stage or at the NFL, whatever. That, 
to me, um, would have been a more strategic move than the shit he pulled, um, which ain't it. So anyway, uh, Jay-Z could have learned some shit from the family. Um, real G's move in silence like lasagna. <laughs> Thanks, Lil Wayne.